Here on the Morning Wrap, we're looking forward to kicking off festival season and Coachella weekend one is just days away. So look who I finally got on the show. Menace from the Woody Show and all that. Yes, 97. hello. You got me on here and I apologize in advance for not you know, being good. You are but great. But <laughs> I'm here. Do you have a tanny filter and a, like skinny filter on you me? You look or amazing. No? no, I look terrible. You, you look I just came from the studio just to be here with you. I know. To talk Coachella. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited. Much. I'm so excited that you're here. Yeah. I'm also excited that you're pretty much the Coachella expert. You've been going since 2007. Yes. Red Hot Chili Peppers headlined mm -hmm. that show. Rage Against Machine was there as well. This is Super cute. fun. That's yeah. great. So this year you're mm -hmm. going again. Yeah. Both weekends or just one? Both weekends. Okay. I go to both weekends every year. Okay, so I've never been. I was told I'm aged out now. <laughs> no, so, no. I needed a breakdown. I, I'm old, but there's much <laughs> older than me that are at Coachella and still having fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about what people can expect and who you're looking forward to. Well, people can expect to wear nice shoes, okay? Like get a, a nice pair of comfortable shoes because it is a trek to get into the festival. Just, just my tip, number one. But people that I'm excited to see is Tyler Crater. I'm excited to see uh, Doja Cat, mm. also uh, Lana Del Rey, but you know, the big rumor, maybe Taylor Swift might show up. Oh, do you think that's gonna actually happen? I mean, all of her friends are gonna be there. That's uh, true. Bleachers, who uh, she's worked with Jack Antonoff, mm -hmm. who's that lead singer of Bleachers, so who knows if she might show up, but all of her friends are there. Ice Spice as well. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. So do you think if she is there, she might get on stage or do you think she'd just be in the background? I think that would be huge if she did, mm -hmm. but just her being there. Because I, I've been to Coachella where Beyonce is just there in the crowd mm -hmm. with Jay-Z seeing the show and she didn't get on stage or Jay-Z never got on stage, but I have been there where, you know, you have those surprise performances that happen and they're incredible. What's it like? Do, do these celebrities just walk on through the crowd? And yeah, other, are everybody. other people just gathering around or everyone's just doing their own thing, just trying to listen to the music so they don't even care? Well, I mean, just in the general area, yeah, you'll run into celebrities all the time, like uh, Danny DeVito, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was an interesting uh, uh, person to spot at Coachella. Yeah. Um, but I can say, can I just say the nicest yeah. person that I meet multiple times mm -hmm. is always Paris Hilton. Really? Very nice. Oh, She'll talk great. to everybody and anybody, and she's really, really cool. Very uh, nice. You know, one of the things I really love about you is on your social media, you're mm -hmm. always posting cool things, cool places to eat, cool, cool things to see and do. Yeah. So when you're there, I know mm -hmm. we have parties, we have food, we mm -hmm. have obviously the different um, artists to see. Yeah. So give us tips on, are there anything, is there anything free people can do if they're, they don't have, because those tickets are expensive. It, they the can be, yeah. <laughs> um, but what can people do? There's a ton of day parties that are mm -hmm. happening just out outside of the festival. Uh, I know day one on Friday, Kendall Jenner is doing the 818 tequila pop-up that's gonna be happening, that's gonna be cool. And then the next day, I know Coca-Cola is doing something at the Thermal Airport, which is gonna oh. be a, a party during the day as well. So that's there's cool. always a bunch of stuff going on. I'm a big um, advocate of just going. Mm -hmm. If you're just thinking of going, just go and then see what happens. There's a ton of places that you can stay and just have fun and eventually get into the festival. My friend always goes and never has a ticket and then eventually gets in. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay, pro tip right there. Yeah. Also want to talk about the traffic because I know it's kind of a mess. So do you have tips on when people should leave? Friday, Thursday, early Saturday morning, late Saturday night? Ooh, if you can get there Thursday evening, do it, mm -hmm. but uh, leave before 10 a.m on Friday because everybody's going to Vegas as well. Oh yeah, that's true. So yeah. Look at you. After that, forget about it. It's gonna be three <laughs> plus hours to get there. Pro tip, before yeah. I let you go, we have the Woody Show 10 year anniversary. Yes, Tell this me a Saturday. About that. It's gonna be happening um, with Cypress Hill. It's sold out. So you have to tune into the radio station for a chance to get in. But yeah, we've been on the air on Alt 987 for 10 years That's already. Great. It's crazy. So I'm going to be going from the festival to the party back to I was the festival. <laughs> yeah. You're insane. Yeah. Your life is crazy. Yeah, I, I try. I try. <laughs> I, you only live once. That's why you should go to Coachella. It's go. very true. Look, go. you heard have it from fun. him. This is great. Thank you so much for being here. No, Breaking no all problem. that down. Congratulations on the 10 years with the Woody Show. Thank you. Thank uh, you. You have a lot of fans here in studio and in the entire newsroom. Love the People Woody Show. People listen to our show? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Our producers admit you right now. I do. I all do. right, sweet. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.